Hi, I'm Lee, and this is Cass, and this is Cass Lee Productions. Okay, so today I'm gonna ta talk about how I didn't cut my hair not once, but twice. Yeah, I did not learn from my mistakes, everyone. <laughs> I feel like, don't know if it's just me personally, it takes me like two screw ups usually to learn from it in general most of the time, except for maybe when it comes to academics every now and then, you know? So, every kid cuts their hair when they're younger, and I've heard um, people tell me some pretty horrid stories. I'm not going to show you my sister's because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, but her hers was pretty bad. She gave herself a short haircut. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. So... Okay, now everyone goes through a phase of kind of actually just playing with scissors in general too. And honestly, I cut this unicorn's mane before if you're trying to be like a hairdresser. And I don't think I did too bad of a job, honestly. I mean, look look at that floof. It's almost all the same size, so I didn't do too horrible, you know, and everything. But uh <laughs> time to just cut it randomly. It was just like, oh look, the hair's sticking up. <laughs> Haircut! And I did the same thing with one of my short hair stuff animals and end up kind of cutting off a bit of its foot so I could see like the bean sack that was inside. And then my grandma had to sew it back together. <sighs> so we know we all played with scissors, okay? We all cut things up at a certain age, at least from what I've seen. So when I cut my hair, it actually wasn't that bad. I just took like a strand of my hair and went... <clears throat> And then I think I was getting ready to do another, like, strand of my hair because I noticed that, you know, the hairdresser does it in sections. And then my dad walks in and I had had this, um, <laughs> what are they called? They're plastic. Tupperware. I had a Tupperware container to catch my hair as it fell because I didn't want to leave behind any evidence because I knew I wasn't supposed to cut my hair. But I was like, I gotta be the hairdresser, man. So I was cutting my hair. <laughs> And I think I, I, I think I went, went like down here and I cut like at least, I think I started with my ends and then just kind of slowly went up my hair because I knew there was at least, not a lot, but just a small enough. And my dad came and walked and stopped me from completely doing my hair. So I think it kind of saved the disaster. But, um, and you know, so the, and the, and the hair cutter didn't have too hard of a time, you know, fixing up my hair. She just had to make sure it was all the same length of which I had cut it, you know. So that was like horrible. But then a few years later, I'm up north at my mom's side of the family's grandma's house, and I'm kind of I'm cutting out something with scissors, and I just kind of stop. And I look at these pair of scissors, and I'm like, huh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a, you know, it shouldn't be bad if I just take a little bit off my hair. You know, just, just like, like a tiny piece, maybe, you know, so, you know, I kind of like, and then next thing I know, there's just hair on the floor, and it's like, well, drat, I did the same thing again, I didn't know, I don't know what kind of impulse it was, but I just saw my hair, and I had scissors, and I was like, let's do this again! <laughs> So yeah, I mean, this one's a really short story. It doesn't even take up 10 minutes, but I just thought it was sort of ridiculous that I cut my hair not once, but twice, and it was just like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then they found my hair, and they're like, okay, who cut their hair? Because all our cousins were out there at the time, and I was like, I cut my hair. <laughs> yeah, so short four-minute story for your entertainment, hopefully. So, like, subscribe, comment, comment, like, subscribe. Ooh, hypnotizing magic. Watch the finger. Yes, I am watching the finger. So, see you next time on Cast Lee Productions. Doo -doo -doo. Boop.